Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and today we are looking at luxury and power, man. We are talking about why are these cars so desirable over many other full-size uh, or GMA body cars? Well, I don't know how Oldsmobile has done it, but they were able to, to put torque in here with an amazing ride, amazing handling, and continuing as a blue chip investment. That's why they continue to go up in value, because people love these things. Why do they love them? Because you could drive this car every day if you wanted to. Maybe somebody actually did back in the day, right? It was somebody's daily driver. But now it's a muscle car with collectability. This one in particular having matching numbers, uh, engine and transmission in here, uh, great features and options, air conditioning, all that good stuff. We're going to spend some time looking at the quality of this build here. It also has an added W30 package, which can be removed if you don't like it. So that's an easy fix if you don't like it. The previous owner loved the look of uh, the stripe and the, and the fenders inside there. But that's an easy fix to take that off. Let us know if you want to go that other way. We'll do all that. Anyway, let's get started on paint quality and uh, some features around the car that you may or may not have noticed. Okay, so why are some 442s more valuable than others? First off, the standard 442 came with a flat hood, right, with some chrome vents on it. Not hideous, but just not a super performance hood. This is the OAI hood, right? It is outside air induction. It is a cold air package that comes in here. This hood is so good looking. Done correctly, it has stripes on here, but not stripes on the back because the 442 did not get stripes on the back like a Chevelle might have. Anyway, more importantly, the paint on here is fabulous. And why is it fabulous? First off, it's ridiculous shiny which we're going to check in just a second but it's also uh, had the stripes clear coated over why is that important because as you wash and wax this car over time these will start to tear that's a step that most people don't take to do that because it involves repainting the entire top of the car with clear coat paint clear coat paint is paint without pigment in it and just another nice finish to make that look good lastly this is a test that I think that you like the most and this is it right here under these harsh lights we want to look and see the quality of the mirror finish and when I say mirror finish you need to be able to read those letters just just like if you were here in person looking at those, and I think those look pretty, pretty good. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood because this is where it all starts for these cars. Actually, here's a very interesting tidbit for you. The 70 model, this hood right here is a one-year only option. Why is it only that? Because this piece right here is actually the next year moved down to here because the mechanics kept hitting their heads on this and during their build process, they didn't really think about that, which is kind of a cool thing to know all that, all right? Anyway, uh, in here we have the correct color engine. That's important. These engine colors change over time. It's important for 19 1970 to have the, the right blue in here. And this has a lot of luxury features as well. We're finishing up the detail in here and I want to go over that with you as we're moving around the car. But this has power disc brakes. We forget to ask about that because a lot of cars just came with drum brakes or no power at all. This has power steering, all right? This has factory air conditioning as well, right? So you're talking about a real world livable muscle car. This has the correct hood on the car here with the fresh air induction, the flapper hood working on the air cleaner right there. It's a cold air air cleaner. This right here when you start this up this flap comes up like that and the car is running and that way uh, if it rains or whatever water doesn't get in there it has drain tubes that come down the back and the sides over there but when you get on the gas it pulls the vacuum that door drops down the cold air comes in through the hood and boom you are making power all right, so back here, we are talking about the difference between, say, GTOs, uh, Chevelles, 442s. This looks different. You can just tell this is a luxury car, right? It has the trumpet tips on here. The bumper is a little bit bigger and better looking, right? This has the pinstripe here. We also have a rear spoiler for it as well that we'll be installing on here. Um, if you don't want that, let us know. But the car just arrived. We feel like uh, that's a nice added touch to it. Uh, if you don't want that, just let us know. And then in here, I just want you to hear that though. That's a nice sound, right? That's somebody that spent some time detailing it, right? New weather stripping. We got the right jacking instructions in here, uh, talking about the stowage of that as well. Also with the anti-spin differential, the positive traction, giving you a safety warning right here. Uh, this has a spare tire and jack, which is pretty rare for us to get a car with that. And it's really nice. This is splatter coat painted the way it's supposed to, not to mention it also has a correct mat in it. So like if you want to go to a car show or what have you, you're ready to go. You can open up your hood and your trunk and you'll feel proud to show that off. Or if you just want to put some stuff in the back of it like a cooler and some beach chairs and drive to the beach for the weekend this is exactly the car to do that in oh. 
All right, so we're going to jump inside here for a second. But before we do that, I want to show you here, there is a lot of room here. It's why people love these cars, man. Imagine going to dinner with another couple in here or taking the kids somewhere uh, and hearing the rumble of the exhaust and, uh, and the comfort of these type of cars. This part here is my favorite part about them, and that is that these typically... Uh, come with way more features than, than standard GM cars. For instance, this one here with tilt wheel, the four spoke steering wheel, right? The his and hers slapstick shifter that goes in here. Factory air conditioning, right? This also has power windows, power convertible top with a matching boot in there. The dash is awesome because it's a rally dash, so it has the full gauges on it, right? So it has the, obviously the fuel, but temp and oil, as well as the tick-tock tack, which has the clock in the middle of the tachometer. This right here is a retro sound radio, designed to look like an old school radio, but it's digital, so you can stream your music to it. It has digital sound, those kinds of things. Uh, so you get some real world stuff here in a muscle car, because most muscle cars are bare bones, just get in them and they make a lot of power and they go. This does all of that plus, very nice to drive. All right, so let's close up this video. Sometimes they run long because there's so much to talk about. I'll try to make it short, but this has got so much going on. We're talking about a real deal 442 convertible with not a lot of these made. How many are left and how many are matching numbers, right? Throw in the fact we have factory air conditioning and power windows and tilt wheel and, uh, you know, power top and all of the things that come to make a luxury muscle car, man. This is the way to do it. You get a little older, this is nice, man. It's got great torque and great power not to mention luxury thrown in and ridiculous good looks. It is awesome. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 442 convertible and uh, we'll find a way to get it in your garage. And if you would, please don't forget to like the video down below there. That helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. We're always putting new stuff out there and uh, maybe share it with your friends as well. I think they're probably car people too. And I will see you on the test drive.